Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Not going to show you any circuit today. Uh, I'm a bit bored, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up a supercapacitor. Never done it before, and I'm curious. So I've got a 2.7 volt, 4.7 farad supercapacitor here, and I've got a power supply set to uh, supply 20 volts at uh, a fixed 2 amps. So what will happen is, as soon as I turn the, turn the power on, the voltage uh, supplied by the power supply will dip down to zero volts and slowly charge it up. And I'm going to show you the uh, the voltmeter in the background on my power supply so you can watch the voltage grow. Now once the voltage exceeds 2.7 volts on the capacitor, we enter the danger zone. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus the... Uh, I'm going to focus the camera, turn on the power supply, and I'm going to get the hell out of the room. So, let's set it up. So the background's a bit blurry, but when I turn this on, you'll see this slowly rise. And once the voltage gets to about here, we're going to hit the danger zone. So as you can see, I've got my capacitor right here. Uh, I'm going to grab my coffee, and I'm going to get out of the room. So now let me turn on the power, and I'm going to run. So hopefully, hopefully this is pretty cool. And hopefully it's, hopefully we get a good explosion out of it. Okay, well that was a bit disappointing. It looks like it did pop. But, uh, that certainly sucked. I will note that the capacitor itself is insanely hot. Touching it for more than a split second burns. Now, the power's been off for a while. Uh, I'm going to look back at the video and yeah, it's insanely hot. Oh, it's, it's, you can't even touch it. Well, there you go. Uh, what I'll do is now, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll do a smaller supercapacitor and see what, see what, uh, see what happens. Let's try another, let's try a smaller one. What I've done here, this is a much smaller capacitor. It's a 2.7 volt 0.5 farad capacitor and what I've done is I've actually hooked up the polarity backwards so I've got the positive on my power supply connected to the negative of the capacitor and the negative of the capacitor connected to the positive of my power supply so I think I think this one calls for some safety glasses actually the first one called for some safety glasses too so I'm going to record it right now and I'm going to stand back ready Yes! In the aftermath, it smells absolutely horrible in here. Probably a bad idea to do that in the house, but hopefully you were as amused as I was. Uh, whew. The leads that were holding the capacitor burned. Or at least it looks like it. So yeah, don't hook up your supercapacitors in, the, uh, it, it, in reverse polarity. Seems to react much more violently than when you overcharge them. But now we all know, and knowing's half the battle. Thanks for watching, guys.